What is up? Jason here. Welcome to Desert Kings Falconry. Uh, today we are out at a local resort. We've been hired here to help catch all the starlings and the pigeons that are in the area uh, because they cause a lot of problems out in the dining areas. They really like to just poop all over the tables. They'll steal food and all that sort of stuff. So to kind of help solve a sanitary issue, um, we're here to catch a bunch of those guys with the hawks. And because we're using hawks, we're able to pretty much go wherever we need to in order to catch those other birds. Now, starlings and pigeons are an invasive species here to Arizona, so we're able to catch as many as we want uh, just to make sure that we can keep this place sanitary. Also, getting rid of these invasive species helps local species more opportunities to thrive. So not only are we helping out this resort to solve a you know human wildlife conflict here, uh, but we're also helping native wildlife uh, that lives right here in Arizona. All right, Luca, let's get to it. The common European starling comes from Europe, of course. It's in the common name. And they are quite a detriment to native wildlife. They kick out a lot of native songbirds out of places that they would otherwise nest. They even kick out animals like American kestrels. They also can cause a lot of different sanitary issues if they are overrunning a dining area. Uh, their poop can, you know, of course, get on the tables or get in places that people are trying to eat and somebody could get sick from that. Now the common pigeon, these guys come from Europe as well as Africa. Uh, they are descendants of a domestic pigeon that were brought over to the United States and they've done really well for themselves here in North America. They are a cliff dwelling animal. That's why they do so well on buildings because they resemble cliffs. Pigeon poop is incredibly acidic. It does corrode concrete and wood and paint and all sorts of things. And they do carry a few diseases that humans could catch uh, through their feces. Now, the great thing about this is we are able to remove as many as we want. And it's gonna help native wildlife thrive in these areas because it's gonna open up space for native animals like doves and roadrunners and plenty of other different species of animals, kestrels being another one. Uh, to have that chance to find nesting space and thrive and find more food. Also, every single animal that we do catch either is fed to our hawks or we donate it to the Arizona Raptor Center to feed native injured wildlife that is in recovery and will be released back out into the wild. Well, now that you got all the information about why we do what we do, let's go ahead and get to catching some starlings and pigeons.
All right, guys, well, Luca did a fantastic job, caught us lots of birds today. Um, and we are going to head out now and do the same thing again tomorrow. It's pretty much what this guy loves doing all the time. So make sure you guys like, subscribe, if you guys want to just see more of what we do, some fun videos with the Hawks and with the air cannons and air guns. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy your day. Happy Hawking.